Well, in traffic alert tonight, we have learned a third major road construction project will start in just a few days, adding to the headaches for drivers in Baldwin County. Sections of U.S. Highway 31 in Spanish Ford, 181, and now the I-10 ramps at the Malbus exit will all be torn up at the same time. NBC 15's James Gordon shows us the price you'll have to pay for progress. Guys, take a look. This is the staging ground at I-10 and that Malibus exit. The equipment here is ready to go for what will become the diverging diamond. And for some, it's only a matter of time before those headaches begin. It's no pipe dream. Soon it will be a reality, as ALDOT will be on a four-month mission to widen both the east and westbound I-10 on and off ramps. The work is the first stage leading up to the construction of the state's first diverging diamond in Malibus. Motorists will soon be looking for ways to get around the traffic. Got to like plan out before I leave. Like I got to get on my phone, see where the traffic's at, and like go the other way if one's better. Aldot has two other major projects in the same area right now. The widening of State Highway 181 is underway, and State Highway 31 in Spanish Fort is also being four-lane. Construction crews are everywhere on roads typically used as detours when accidents jam up I-10. A lot of drivers remember the hot summer mess. Well, when things like that happen, I mean, what, what can you do? There's limited access across the bay. Uh, you either got 65 and all the way around Bay Manette or I-10 or uh, 98. Uh, about all you can do is, like I said, deal with it and kind of put up with it until you get it cleared up. Aldot engineers promise there will be no lane closures on major summer holidays. Motorists will have to put up with the growing pains for almost two more years. Uh, Baldwin County is growing. It's part of the sacrifice. Uh, you just kind of got to put up with it as they get it fixed. But uh, to that point, you have to live with it. Alda says during the heavy summer traffic, the state now has contracts to have more wreckers and towing companies on standby, hoping accidents will be cleared up a lot quicker. Now we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.